Hi everyone. Today I'm going to tell you a short story from Panchatantra, and the name of the story is Two Friends. And I think this one is a very interesting and good story. So let me begin the story. There lived two friends in a village. One's name was Papa Buddhi, and the other's name was Dharma Buddhi. Papa Buddhi's mind was always busy thinking the wrong. things like uh, he was forming always some evil schemes while dharma buddhi he was uh, very innocent simple and hard working and very intelligent also once when papa buddhi was uh, just uh, busy thinking about the evil scheme that time he saw his friend dharma buddhi just that time passed by his house he always the papa buddhi was always thinking that when life could be lived lazily why one should do hard work that is why he ran to his friend when he saw him he ran towards him and he asked oh friend oh dharma buddhi just wait dharma buddhi was stopped then uh, he asked oh friend how many days we will be here in our village we can't earn uh, a good amount of wealth in our village so let us go somewhere else mean some other cities where we can earn a lot of money which will help us in our old days na dharma buddhi thought for a while and he agreed he thought well let us go he thought and agreed to his friend's proposal so the next day they both went to set out their journey to other cities with the help of skill knowledge intelligence and hard working they earned a lot of money within few months then one day when they uh, papa buddhi saw that they have already earned a lot of money he said oh friend now we have enough money let us go back to our village dharma buddhi also agreed because he was also feeling lonely without his family members and then they agreed to come back to their village while they were coming on the way papa buddhi said oh dharma buddhi now listen to me if we will take all the money to our village then all will ask so many questions and they may put an eye on our wealth so better let us uh, keep most of the wealth uh, in this forest and then we'll carry a little amount of money with us let us choose a common uh, tree under which we can bury all the wealth dharma buddhi also agreed that time and he said well let us put it so they chose a tree in the forest and buried all the wealth under that tree then with a little amount of money went back to their village but as usual papa buddhi was papa buddhi so without dharma buddhi's knowledge one day he came to that uh, tree uh, and uh, dug the dug out all the wealth and carried to his home and kept it in a safe place now pretending as if he required the money very urgently he went to dharma buddhi saus and said oh dharma buddhi i need money urgently let us go and uh, let us go to that place where we have kept and i will take some some of it dharma buddhi agreed and they both went to the tree but when they dug out they saw that nothing was left over there dharma buddhi was surprised and papa buddhi immediately accused 
dharma buddhi that yes without my knowledge you have taken all the money all the wealth but dharma buddhi was innocent he said that he didn't know anything about it but papa buddhi immediately went to the village head and mane uh, village elders and lodged a complaint against dharma buddhi he told everything now the village elders called both of them and asked them to take a place on fire guard that uh, proclaiming that whatever they are telling is true then they did both of them did that then dharma buddhi said i don't know anything about it i have never visited to that place for the second time but the village elder said uh, how it could be then where the wealth had gone now immediately papa buddhi said we can do one thing let us go to the tree and ask the spirit of the tree he is the witness for us for the uh, thief then villagers they thought that yes logic is there then let us go before they all uh, reached there already papa buddhi had already made the plan so he asked his father to hide inside the hollow of that tree and behave like Uh, the spirit of the tree when the village elders reached there and asked about the wealth papa buddhi's father uh, said in a, in a strange voice as if the spirit of the tree and he blamed everything on dharma buddhi now dharma buddhi was stunned and he thought for a while how could a, a tree speak like human being and even if he could speak then why should he lie then he gave a round to the tree there he saw a big hollow and one idea came to his mind so immediately he gathered um, a heap of dry grass and put it on the mouth of that hollow then he set fire on it as the fire flared up with the um, um, smoke and heat papa buddhi's father couldn't tolerate any more inside that hollow so he screamed and came out from the hollow and by that time he was already half burned then everything he told about the wicked plan of his son now the village elders were surprised and they gave uh, they punished to papa buddhi and praised to dharma buddhi for his intelligence this was is the story but the thing is that never try to deceive anyone and always find out the good friends not uh, don't try to get some uh, company of some bad friends those who will put you into trouble and if you deceive then definitely you will get the reward thank you so much once again i will meet you with some other stories thank you till then